with my soul is fermented by a sucky bitch call assist pants who dripping from the way i spit fell in love with this Hello and welcome back everyone, the name is Kahenkyo and the game is Pokemon Duel. The Queen's Cup is right here and it's gonna last until the 13th of March. The thing is, going to 13,000 points is probably not gonna be enough for you to grab this uh, unique mask that is available through this event. And I would recommend you going to 15,000 and like, it's until the 13th of March and it's 9th today. So go ahead and check out your ranking, just go ahead, check out your standings every single day that you play this game so you can understand how much do you need to grind in order to secure it for sure. Because frankly speaking, if you check the rankings right now, there are people that hit 25,000 points. Like what? <laughs> this low kid or low sid guy hit 25,000. This, this is a person who wants this mask no matter what you do. He doesn't care. And I don't believe that it's worth so many duels because, like, really, what, the most you can get out of it is just the mask, right? You got your rewards, you got everything. But after that, you don't even get any free boxes. You just play because you have to play or something. I don't know. I do have myself my rewards. Soon enough, I will be getting the uh, Cube Rare and Cube EX. I did get the Rayquaza. And this video is going to be about Shiny Rayquaza's EXP. Because I, <clears throat> I know that there's like common knowledge. Well, let's let's go ahead and play this one duel first, and then we're gonna talk about it. Because I've been playing against this bot, and frankly speaking, aside this steel team, I haven't found any difficulties with my rush deck. Everything else falls to crumbles pretty efficiently and fast. The steel deck has one against me, and the other one that won against me was, was with a Mew. I hope I was recording because I hoped that I was recording because that Mew steamrolled through everything. He killed my Miss Zorark. He killed my Coco. He killed. Sorry, not my Coco. He didn't kill my Coco. He didn't have a chance to kill my Coco. But he killed my own Mew with his X attack. He killed both my speed forms by rolling. Ro sorry, rolling two psychics. And then, as I might survive my uh, speed form to to attack or surround, I don't know what. Uh, do we want to? No, we were just gonna hope that he rolls a dodge or something. I don't. Yeah, there we go. I don't. I don't remember what exactly happened, but the Mew was here. My speed form was here, and the Mew just goes double chance shadow flip into my go. I'm like, what just happened? The amount of outplay from that freaking Mew was intense. I did post a screenshot on my Discord about four kills and a shadow flip win was absolutely phenomenal from that enemy bot Mew. And that was the second time I lost in this event. But things like this happen pretty often, like one dodge, one miss attack from the enemy, like it's speed against the speed form, what? You know, happen. And you grab your quick wins, you go ahead and, and you know, spend some more points. Like this is, a, this, this, this is exactly the, the deck I played versus, oh my God. Oh my god, yeah, that's a unique attack, two double chance, mutant. This is exactly the deck that I lost to the Mew. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> Holy smoke, man. Wow, okay. Okay, top rank player. I, I I'm getting I'm getting the chills right about now. I don't know what to expect. Because if it if it goes super sad once again, I'm gonna be like super mad. Oh wow. Alright, alright. Let's see. Let's see. Terrakian. Okay, we have Vanilla, we have Mewtwo X. MMX, and it's my turn. Is that Mew gonna attack with X attack? Is it? No, the Coco is gonna go defense. All right. So the man doesn't want to go and do anything, um, you know, sudden. He wants to defend, frankly, here. So let's see what we can do. Do I wanna go here and let the Mew go to my side or do I wanna go the others? Okay, Mew too. Perfect, it's gonna go Mew to X and he's gonna try to push me away. But I'm gonna X attack anyway here. Where should I? No, I got to X attack. I'm gonna X attack because if I kill that uh, Coco, even if he does push me aside or something, oh man, that would be that would be funny. Okay, now it's not funny. <laughs> we have to. Uh, is there a hole jump? No, there's only a scoop up. All right, so it's gonna go here and end the turn there. Okay, there we're gonna see the enemy me going through. 
All right, buddy. Frankly speaking, I just want to stand here. So maybe if he goes here, I go my speed form defensive. He still has the exit tag though, which is going to be pretty sad to see if he does use it. Because I'm going to swap with the Zoroark, but he's going to he's going to roll the 50. So I don't know how how relevant that is. What I'm going to do now though is I'm going to sacrifice the Zoroark for the chance to go and shuttle flip towards the enemy Coco. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, do I want to respin? Yeah, I want to. I want to shadow flip. I don't want to kill it. God dang it! All right, we killed it. Now the Lunala is coming on the field. Now people are gonna start killing me or Teragon even. All right, so we won't be able to shadow flip. We need to roll that forty. Whatever happens. Oh man! Now the shadow flip, Mew. Now the shadow flip. Well, screw you, Mew man. Like, really? Really? Now? I double chanced you like a second ago for that. Oh my god, man. It's so annoying. It's so annoying when it happens, man. Okay. Psychic Shove, it's not gonna do any good to either one of us. But it's alright. Because I wanna go Mega. Uh, I wanna go Mega and I wanna keep the Teraki on that bay so I can go and hit and attack them. You. Sorry, the, the Coco. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and kill it. Let's go ahead and kill that Coco because I want to win the game and the turn there. Okay. What can happen? You can go defensive or attack my speed form. Yeah. That's what you're gonna do. He's gonna attack my speed form. Look at this. He's gonna get it because he's attack, man. And now that I have to attack it, where, which, which, now that I have to attack it, I don't have a max revive, do I? I do have a max revive, my own you. That's my best, my best shot, isn't it? It's my best shot. I sh I could send my, my Gengar defensive, but if I, like, fuck it up, it's still not going to be worth it. Shadow flip. GG well played, man. I'm telling you, this Mew is freaking stupidly good. That's that's all. I I proved my point. <laughs> that's the third time I freaking lose. I could, I know, I could move my Gengar back. I could start attacking afterwards. But it would be the purpose and it would take too freaking long. I don't care about the too freaking long. I still have enough points here. And I just have a psychological freaking um, fear of this specific freaking deck Mew. Because he's, he's just... He's just too good, man. He's just too good. That's all. That's all I can say. <laughs> well, anyway, it doesn't matter too much because RNG is RNG. But what this video is all about, we already have the common knowledge that if you fuse a regular Pokemon into a shiny Pokemon, the regular Pokemon will take all the C levels and a lot of the EXP giving to it. Okay. But how does the EXP exactly work? Until level five, we already know that you need to spend like a lot of freaking cubes, like level five. Let's say, let's take a level one Pokemon right here. Let's take this um, Solgaleo. In order to make it level five, you need approximately 100,000 EXP. Approximately, that's that's 102,000. But if you calculate like, like a little bit there, well, it's, yeah, it's about 101,000 EXP, some, something along those lines. So we're gonna see that to make one full level, it needs about 337,778 credits, all right? So after that, the value of that EXP falls to about a half. And why do I mean by a, by a half? Like, I have the Magirda Max level. Magirda Max level worth 47,424 EXP. Instead of the 100,000 that it's, it was needed to make it level 10. Basically speaking, Rayquaza is exactly the same. Rayquaza, every, every, every one at EX tier needs 100k to become max level, and it only worth half of that afterwards. But when you fuse Pokemon with Carmonite in, like you take your level 5 Pokemon and you fuse one level of Carmonite to it, the amount of EXP that Pokemon is worth from 47,000 is increased rapidly to 80,000. 80 something, 81,000. You see Mewtwo? He's level 6 and he's worth 81,169. That is pretty much 33,000 approximately, 33,745 EXP more. So 
100 Carmonite translate into the 33,000 EXP. That is pretty dope. And the same goes for tier 7. If you have a tier 7 EXP mon like Rayquaza here, Rayquaza, it goes to 114,915 EXP, which is plus one more time 33,745 EXP. Basically speaking, every single 100 Carmonite worth 33k EXP. But my question here is, if I was to fuse my regular Rayquaza into my shiny Rayquaza, Rayquaza, sorry about that, Rayquaza, would only the EXP and the C levels transfer, or would also the Carmonite level transfer? This, I know, I know this is pretty theoretical, you know, obviously it shouldn't, or it won't, because Carmonite translates into EXP, but instead of doing assumptions and, you know, guessing if it will, I'm gonna just press the fusion button here, and I'm gonna find out for sure. I'm not gonna be using either one of them, I don't feel like Ray or uh, Shiny Ray is worth in my deck, or is gonna stick in any deck that I make. So I'm just gonna go ahead, kiss it together, and see, just in case I get myself the Carmonite back, or not. And you saw the Carmonite thing popped up, but we'll have to see if it works like that. I don't believe, personally, I'm telling you again, I don't believe Carmonite is gonna be transferred. It's gonna be just the AXP, but I just wanted to make sure and confirm this. Leveled up. Now the C level should pop up. Okay. 142. Okay. And was there enough levels for the Carmonite? I don't believe so. I, don't, I do not believe so. But you never know. Nope. The Carmonite does not transfer. Maybe if there was more levels, just maybe then. But I still don't believe so because Carmonite transforms into EXP. And once it's transformed into EXP, there is nothing you can do about it. You can't transfer Carmonite. You can transfer C levels, you can transfer the EXP, but not the Carmonite levels. As for this being sold for me personally, I'm super happy. Because right now I, I sold the riddle Mythbusters Kahenkyo for me. And I'm I'm really, really, really satisfied with the results. I don't I love I know blah, 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 blah. I know I lost my Rayqua Rayquaza, but it did not does not matter. Because as I mentioned, I'm not gonna be using it in any deck anytime soon. I didn't really care about it anyway. I had it sitting there forever. Only after the buff for a little while it was relevant because um, there were people still running those. And that's why it was still relevant to me. But right about now, it's as useless as ever. So let's just grab some money back. And let's end this video right about here. I feel embarrassed that I lost to Mew. So I'm just going to go ahead and refill my stamina and play a little bit more of that uh, thing right there. I do have my rainbow running. I played again a ranked duel. I was deciding to tank, but I play versus a bot, so I didn't want to tank to a bot. At some point when I'm done feeding my ego, I'm going to rank tank back to normal to, uh, to have regular plays with regular people. And uh, until then, I'm Henke, and as always, have a nice day.